I'm with John Donaldson, the captain of the USA team, and you've just had to endure an agonizing hour or so where you didn't actually quite know whether the team had won. Uh, it's quite true. In fact, uh, it brought back memories of Dresden 2008 when we were in the same situation against Ukraine. Uh, uh, and, you know, I, I prepared for this the night before by uh, making a little notebook and listing all the teams that, that each of the contenders had played against and, and what matches were going to be played in the last day and I tallied all the scores but it didn't finally end until uh, uh, Serbity, Serbia drew their match against the Netherlands and I'm told also that if Germany had not won against Estonia using this uh, kind of uh, Byzantine tiebreak that uh, they uh, that which you would have thought would have helped uh, uh, Ukraine's tiebreak because they played against Germany, but what would have happened is that then Germany would have been the low scorer, they would have been thrown out, and uh, 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 the result between Ukraine and Germany was only a victory by Ukraine by the narrowest margin, but uh, I know this is getting complicated just when I'm saying it, but the way it worked out is that uh, Jordan won, uh, they beat Jordan 4-0, and Jordan would have given them more points, but they got thrown out because they had one less match point than uh, Okay, yeah. listen, I'm, I'm, I'm completely lost already, right, and, and isn't this system mad? Because basically, you know, we're depending on, you know, the, uh, some arcane formula, what happens with teams way down in, in, in the tournament standings. I mean, there must be a better system. Well, I think uh, I mean, one thing you could consider, since they made that switch in 2008 from uh, uh, game points to match points, it might have made sense also to weight the individual result between the two teams more heavily. So maybe make the first tie break head to head. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? And, and it's transparent, that's the thing. Yeah, it would be easier to explain to the general public as well. Anyway, apart from that, has it been an enjoyable Olympiad for you? I mean, what, are, what's, what have been the biggest challenges captaining the American team. Well, I think one thing that made this Olympiad easier than some in the past was that it was very well organized. Playing hall was exceptionally good. I mean, uh, I would say that the you know, hotel was comfortable. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, it was buffet food for two weeks, so what can you do? But there was a lot of good choices that were not too expensive that were nearby. So I think on all accounts, the organizers can uh, consider themselves proud that they put on a proper event. Okay, and what were the big challenges for you as captain of the team? Well, I think there was, uh, you know, uh, two that we had uh, two players that were new to the team. We had uh, Fabiano and uh, Wesley. They had previous Olympiad experience, but with other teams. And, you know, so there's always question of the chemistry, how they work out. And uh, it worked out very well. I mean, the three big guns, if you will, uh, they're obviously rivals. I mean, I, how could it be otherwise if you're playing each other all the time and for big prizes? But they took it very professionally, and they were very respectful of each other. Okay. So the, the team spirit was pretty good. It was very good. I think uh, I was very proud also of our board four and our reserve because you know they're players that on most teams would have been board one. And Sam Shanklin, you know, he won the gold medal as a reserve in the last Olympiad. In fact, before this loss in the last round, he was contending for a gold medal again for his board prize. But those guys, it was very hard for them to get into a rhythm when there's only one board to play on and there's two good players. But they really supported each other. When one was playing, the other prepared him and vice versa. And uh, how do you decide who's going to rest for, for each match? Because, you know, there are, in the matches there are only four games, but, you know, each, each team has one reserve player. Is it a democratic decision or sometimes do you have to kind of lay down the law? Uh, well, on our team, it's, it's kind of a c collective decision up to a certain point. I always think it's important to let the players uh, give me their feedback about what they think, because you never know. They may have some information you haven't thought of, like they played against a certain player and they had a good individual record. I mean, sometimes you can pull that up in chess space, but sometimes, you know, the games didn't make it in for some reason. And, you know, maybe stylistically somebody matches up better with somebody else. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's the captain's decision. And, and, and did you have to lay down the law now and again? Uh, you know, not not really, not not in a firm fashion. I mean, it also helps. I mean, I mean, you know, I think mo uh, a chimpanzee would have played the first three most of the time. <laughs> and what's your most memorable moment from this event? Which which match? I would say, uh, you know, probably the the most important match. I mean, you could say, you know, beating Ukraine 
was very significant. I mean, that ultimately proved to be the difference between the two teams. The match with Russia, we almost won that match, and Wesley played a very nice game. Uh, but I, you know, also beating India three and a half a half, that proved really important. But I think the main thing that uh, I was really proud of them is their consistency throughout the tournament. We were really never in danger of losing any single individual match. I, I think that, uh, uh, you know, that I've never been in that experience before, and I'm not sure that too many teams that even won Olympiads have been in that situation, but we were really never in, in danger of losing. Well, many congratulations, and uh, I think it's about time we went to the party. I agree totally. Thank you very much. Thank you, John.